I'm at the top of Block 19 Cabernet Sauvignon at Canoe Ridge Estate Vineyard. We're in an arid site in southeastern Washington on the banks of the mighty Columbia River. Seattle, the rain, the coffee, they're a four hour drive over the mountains. It's mid-April and the vines here in the vineyard are just starting to wake up from their long winter's nap. It's an exciting time called bud break. In the winter, the vines go dormant to protect themselves from the cold, and here in Washington, the cold can be quite harsh. Mimi Nye is our vineyard manager, and she's been with these vines since they were planted. So she's actually more of the vineyard founder, and she's our resident expert. About a month ago, these vines were completely dormant. So what that means is in the fall, when it gets cold, all the sap flows down to the roots, so the plants get really dry. So these, where, where you see shoots now, there were, there were buds. And those buds, we don't want those to freeze in the winter. So the vine protects itself. But as soon as the weather warms up, the sap starts flowing up from the roots into the plant and pushes those buds open. So this is a two bud spur, one, two, and that's where the shoots come from and the clusters. So we want to space the shoots and clusters along this cordon so there's plenty of room for all the clusters to ripen. In six short months, we'll be picking these grapes and a lot will happen in the vineyard in that period of time. Everything that is a grapevine, the clusters, the tendrils, the shoots, the leaves are contained in this tiny start right here. If I can just wax poetic here for a minute. When you see this, you realize how closely tied wine is to the whims and vagaries of Mother Nature. When you're enjoying a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, you might think to yourself, from whence came this mighty wine? I give you this humble beginning.